What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game online card opening series. So in the last episode we finished opening up the black and white emerging power booster packs and we scored a few more um, unique cards plus we also took a look at the cards that I unfortunately missed out on and as I said in the last episode I don't think I'm going to be getting any more emerging power booster pack um, codes or anything like that because emerging powers is a really 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 old booster pack now. Same thing with black and white, I don't think I'll be seeing any more of them, so unfortunately for those two series, they are unfortunately going to remain incomplete. So, in this episode, we're going to be opening up Dark Explorers, but before I do that, I want to show off um, the collection profile um, stats as of now, so each time I complete a booster pack opening, I will be doing checking the collection and showing how much percent or how much of a percentage boost I have gained and seeing if anything's changed as far as sets nearest to completion. So we've completed 21% of the overall collection which is awesome. We're actually one fifth of the way to overall completion. I have 180, 835 unique cards which is... <laughs> that's actually quite a lot of cards really when you think about it and 21% of the collection being cleared, which means it's about one fourth of the collection would be 1,000. So it's about 4,000 unique different cards, I reckon, which is definitely not a small amount. Thinking about that many cards is making my brain just go, what the fuck, boom. Um, total cards owned, that's including duplicates, is 2,004 cards, which is nowhere even close to my real um, life count either. I've about 20,000 cards in real life, which is insane. Um, I've got that many collector's tins trying to hold them all, and deck boxes, and whatever else I can get a hold of to hold my cards. It's not funny. Um, set nearest to completion. Now, this has my brain boggled. It's actually HS Unleash. I think that's a 4th gen deck, and I don't even know how that even works, because I haven't opened any 4th gen decks. I know some structure decks will come with cards from the 4th gen sets, Strangely enough, um, trainer cards do do that quite a lot, so I'm not too sure. I don't even recognize the deck, to be honest. Um, I'll have a look into that one and see if I can make any sense of it. Um, Complete set still hasn't changed. It's still the starter decks. Um, most of one card is still Darkness Energy, and foil cards owned is 190, which is actually quite a lot. So anyways, um, let's head into the card opening. So I'm going to go Collection and go packs. Alright, so let's start opening up our Dark Explorer booster packs. So, first one up, we are going to be getting Chansey, Joltik, Drillba, Levesta, Ducklet, Twist Mountain, Sharon, Crustle, Reverse Hollow, um, Old Amber, which is for Aerodactyl, and Bishop is our rarity for that one. So, Sweetness, um, Old Amber is pretty handy to keep a hold of. Especially the fossils. Fossils can actually make a really good competitive deck if you've got the cards to bring out the fossils quickly and have cards quickly search your deck for the fossils mainly and then bring out their evolutions with Pokeball and other cards like that. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. And we are getting We are getting Ducklet, Time Pole, Torchic, Dwebble, Zora, Palpito, Dark Claw. Uh, one of these, but I've got the secret rare for it, which is funny. I can't even remember the freaking card name, but I know I've got a secret rare of it. Um, <laughs> we got a reverse holo slow king and what looks like a Galvantula. Sweet. That would be the um, rare for that as well. So it's pretty amazing seeing which cards are rare and not as well. Um, so. <sighs> yes! Is all I can say. Um, I've got Chansey, Timber, Woobat, Piplup, Drillba, Torkoal, Great Ball, uh, Ultra Ball, sorry, um, Umbreon, then a Reverse Hollow of one of these, um, Hooligan, Someone and Someone, and a Full Art Raikou. Yes, because I don't own that one in real life, so that's awesome. I'm happy with that because I think I've got a Full Art Entei as well, so yes, so happy, so happy. Okay, moving on. Hi! Oh yes! Two booster packs! Really good in a row! That doesn't happen very often either. Yes. Um, Levesta, Joltik, 
um, Tanamo, Eevee, Zorak, Gerda, another one of these, Torkoal, Reverse Hollow, what looks like Hagasaurus, I have that in Hollow as well, and we have a Dark Ra EX card as well, and this can be a full art, which I will be looking forward to if I can nag that as well. So yes, 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 ha ha, I got another rarity, sweet, oh man, this is such a good day. Two secret rares in a day. I've got that many EX and full arts in a day as well. It's it's awesome. I'm I'm enjoying life at the moment. Um, Clink, Plusle, Bobasaur, Eevee, Scraggy, Crustle, Rare Candy. It's a hammer. I know that, but I can't remember it. And I think it's actually a good card as well if for competitive play. Uh, although if you, if you can get the heads, it is of, of course. Um, anyways, Reverse Hollow Umbreon. And we have a um, Excavia, which is the rare as well. Alright, so we're doing well at the moment. We have Joltik, Zora, Timepole, Torchic, Slowpoke, Vanillish, Ultra Ball, Dark Claw, Reverse Hollow, Cle uh, Clang, and then a Blissey. Yuck, I hate Blissey. I hate versing Blisseys. So much health, so much support, so annoying. Such a supporty Pokemon, do not put them on your active. Leave them in your bench. You'll never die, I swear. Um, Torchic, Duckleg, Timepole, Perniard, Levesta, Cl um, Clang, Ivysaur, Palpatode, Reverse Hollow Tynamo, and Excelga as well, which I already have, which is sweet. Right, so I'll probably open up a couple of more. So we have Ducklet, Tynamo, Plusal. Um, we then have Carablast, Lillipup, Slowbro, Herdia, Yammask, Reverse Hollow, one of these. I think that's a Pokemon Receiver, actually. I think that's what you call it. And then a Exadrill. I think that's just normal Exadrill. Sweet. Alrighty, so... Oh, awesome. We've got Zorak. Haha. <laughs> um, Plusle, um, Shelmet, Z um, Eevee, Minum, Velanite. Yarn Mask, another one of these hammers. Um, I it may be called Lucky Hammer, I think. Oh, I swear to God, I, I have seen it, I do own it, but I can't remember its name, and it actually can be Secret Rare as well. Um, Chattel, a Reverse Hollow Bishop, and a Zorark. Sweet. So, a few more. So this time round, we have Minum, we've got... Lavesta, Bulbasaur, Torchic, Tynamo, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Combuscan, a Reverse Hollow Lillipop, and another Gold Vantula as well. Okay, so keep going. Now we are going to get... We are going to get Scraggy, Plusle, Ducklet, Dwebble, Slowpoke, Rare Candy, Ultra Ball, and what the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. I'll be looking into that one for sure. Reverse Hollow, um, La Vesta. Um, no, it's not, not La Vesta, sorry, Volcarana, wrong one. And then a Heatmore, awesome, that is actually rare for a deck. Heatmore is awesome, it should be rare for nearly a lot of decks than what it is. And that'll do it for that one for now, so I'll just head into Dark Explorer's Filter and I'll show you guys what I got in review for this opening. So, I have a lot of Zoras, I think... Dark Explorers, yes there was a Zora deck, so one of these would be the Hollow from the Structure deck, and then the Normal, and then the Reverse Hollow as well. Yan Mask, Volcarana, who was Reverse Hollow, then we got Vanillish, then we got Umbreon Reverse Hollow, we got Reverse Hollow Tynamo, we got an Alternative Art Tynamo, which I didn't have, but it's really cool. And then we got Timber, we then got Slurking Reverse Hollow. Uh, Raikou, EX Full Art, that is awesome, 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 and as I said, I've already got Entei from this collection as a Full Art as well, Lily Pup, Reverse Hollow, Levesta, then we've got Clink, uh, Carablas, Hit Her um, Herdia, Heatmore, Haxorus, which is Reverse Hollow, oh, I don't have Haxorus from this collection, Great. Um, when you start opening up a lot of collections at once, they all start clashing and you think you've got one but you don't. Um, Galvantula, Exadrill, and then we've got Excavia, 
there's the Entei that we opened a bit earlier. I actually did catch this online as well, which is awesome. And there's our Darkra EX that we also pulled, so that is actually really cool. I actually like the full art um, of Darkra as well. They all look really cool, actually, all the full arts. Gotta love having them. Uh, Crustle, Combuskin, which means Blaziken's in this deck. Oh. Uh, yuck, Blissey. Yuck. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin if heads heal 30 damage from your active Pokemon. Yuck. So this is a great support from Bench. That's why I said don't put it on Bench because Double Edge deals 60 damage to itself. So three of these plus an extra attack from the opponent takes up Blissey. Yeah, not an active Pokemon, it's a Bench Pokemon. Bench support. Really, really good. And that's it. So, in the next episode, we'll continue opening up the dark... Oh, wait, no, I'm not ending the episode. I'm looking at the status. So, as I said, at the end of each episode, I'll be looking at the collection and showing if it's improved. So, we're now at 22%, owning 864 unique cards, 2,114 cards in total, and 204 foils in total. Right, so now I can end the collection, uh, end the episode. So next episode, we'll be heading back to opening the um, Dark Explorers booster packs and seeing if we can snag any more rarities from that one. Hoping we can pull a full more fuel, um, full arts because there is quite a few in this one. So until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao.